Watch this. And talk to me about your level of interest in the, the, the criminal charges and so forth. Uh, February 6th? January, January 6th. Oh, oops. Um, so I remember that day. I know he was the standing president. Yeah, um, me too. I'm not familiar with the charges that are being brought against him for that. I don't, Nobody cares. I'm not following that charge. Yeah. The, You're not following that, George? Is going on. I'm just not familiar with it. I mean, that doesn't sound like it's going to be a factor in deciding who to vote for. And that's a problem no. for me. Okay, so when I, when I say January 6th, what do you think? Oh, Penis. I just remember seeing it on the news, like all the riots and stuff. Don't really know what it was about or what happened, though. Oh. Did it, I mean, how did it make you feel when you saw it? Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel any way about it. I don't, mm. I mean. Nobody cares. People showed their emotion, I guess. I mean, probably in the wrong way, but it happened. And... Talk to me about your level of interest. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Sorry you didn't get the interview you thought you were going to get. Sorry you found out nobody actually cares. Nobody actually cares. MSNBC finally realizes why their ratings are trash. Nobody cares about January 6th. Sorry. No one cares. People actually care about themselves. They care about providing for their family. I know it's confusing for you, MSNBC. And yes, I wrote this headline, and yes, I rewrote some of MSNBC's headlines. So if you just come to the bottom... Oh, it changed. <laughs> Dang it. Change my headline for me. Why'd you do that? Look. It's sad. MSNBC has put all their eggs in one basket. And at the end of the day, we don't care. We don't care. January 6th? Oh, are we still talking about that? And talk to me about your level of interest in the, the criminal... Uh, February 6th. January. February 6th. We don't even know the dates. This is what happens when you talk to real people, MSNBC. This is what happens when you get out of your bubble. You find out that not every single American, A, lives online, and B, lives in D.C. We don't care. Some of us have lives to live. Some of us don't worship the government like you guys do. Um, so I remember that day. I know he was the standing president. Um, yeah, yeah this is not a test. <laughs> I, I, I bet he feels like it's a test. I mean, I bet he feels like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm on MSNBC right now. They're going to like think I'm some kind of right wing nut job. I'm going to have to tell them I can speak the language. I know what happened that day. <laughs> Don't put me in the corner. Don't put baby in the corner. I'm not familiar with the charge that brought against him for. You're not familiar with the most existential threat known to mankind, known as Donald Trump? Ah, oh, I love this interview. I'm not following that charge. Or, I know there's multiple court cases going on. I'm just not. I mean, I mean, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna sit here and seriously tell me you have no idea what's happening to the most existential threat to this country known to mankind? That doesn't sound like it's going to be a factor in deciding who to vote for. No. Okay, so when I, when I say January 6th, what do you think? Oh, I just remember seeing it on the news, like all the riots and stuff. Don't really know what it was about or what happened, though. Did it, I mean, how did it make you feel when you saw it? Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel any way about it. I, don't, <laughs> I mean, people showed their emotion, I guess. Maybe probably in the wrong way, but it happened. Did you say, probably in the wrong way? What are you, nuts? It was the biggest, most existential threat known to mankind. You're over here just relaxed. And people died. Look, MSNBC, maybe it's time to find a new narrative to go with. We went from Donald Trump peeing on models in Russia to being in bed with Putin to January 6th. The white people are evil and January 6th is the worst day in the history of America. Ain't cutting it anymore. Nobody cares. And that sucks for you. Sorry. It's just the rules.